Hi, welcome to the video. We'll cover converting some of the common DT Swiss hubs to higher points of engagement and discuss why you might want to do this simple upgrade. We'll show you how to upgrade the DT Swiss 370 LN hubs on my Stump Jumper Evo Expert from 18 points of engagement to 54 points. And we'll cover which DT Swiss hubs can be upgraded in this manner, as well as the range of 2022 specialized trail bikes that this relates to. Though obviously DT Swiss hubs are used in a wide range of other manufacturers' bikes and wheel sets. So first, why do more or less points of engagement actually matter? Fewer points of engagement means that there is more slack or backlash between starting to pedal and when the drivetrain actually engages. With an 18 point of engagement hub, the rear wheel rotates by up to 20 degrees, being 360 divided by 18, before the power generated by the rider is put into the ground through the tire. Also, the gearing on the bike has a big impact on the amount of backlash experienced by the rider through the cranks. The higher the gearing, the less crank rotation is required before the hub engages. This is because each rotation of the cranks will result in more rotations of the rear wheel than with a lower gear. This will be perceived as more engagement by the rider. Also, a larger rear wheel will increase the overall gearing of the bike. Okay, so let's go over why this is more interesting than just a simple mathematical exercise. When pedaling on even ground continually, the number of points of engagement has a limited impact. Where it comes into play is often on steeper or technical terrain where, for instance, you may not want to do a full crank rotation to avoid hitting a pedal on a rock. This can lead to the rider ratcheting the cranks back and forth to maintain power while avoiding pedal strikes. Each time you ratchet, you're re-engaging the hub. A lower engagement hub results in more lash and a longer period of time between the hub re-engaging, which reduces control. Often you're in a lower gear on steep technical climbs, which exacerbates the lash experienced at the cranks. So more engagement sounds like a great idea, but there's a bit of a catch. Full suspension bikes can be affected when the compression of the rear shock creates tension in the chain as the rear triangle moves relative to the bottom bracket. This movement can cause a phenomenon called pedal kickback. If you'd like to read up on it, there is some great info on the DT Swiss website. Right, let's go over the DT Swiss hubs and specialized mountain bikes that are covered by the upgrade we made. This upgrade will work for the older non-EXP240 hubs, as well as the 350 hubs and the 370 hubs with the LN specification. These hubs feature floating twin star ratchets. Older 370 hubs will require a conversion to the LN spec, which converts the hub from pawls to ratchets. The Stump Jumper Evo Expert 2022 comes with the newer 370 LN hubs as standard. The newer EXP hubs found on the 180 and new 240 hubs have a slightly different system that can be similarly upgraded but require different parts and potentially additional tools. My daughter Millie's Stump Jumper Evo Comp Alloy has bare pools hubs so this conversion won't work for that bike. That hub has 36 points of engagement anyway which is better than the stock Evo Expert. So let's take a look at the hubs in some of the other popular specialized bikes currently available. Go ahead and pause the video to find your particular bike. Now let's get into swapping out the star ratchets in the hub. So firstly we have to remove the rear wheel from the bike. Then we remove the cassette along with the free hub body. Simply pull up on the cassette and it comes away with the free hub body. The old 18 tooth ratchets come off leaving a spacer and a spring behind. And another spring is on the free hub body. We're not going to replace the springs as the bike is still pretty new. So we're just going to remove the old 18 tooth star ratchet and replace them with the 50 or teeth ratchets. DT Swiss says to sparingly grease the ratchets as too much grease will stop the ratchets properly engaging causing them to slip. There is already some grease on the internals of the hub so we won't apply very much. Now we put the ratchets into the hub and over the spacer. Then simply place the free hub body and cassette back over the hub. And reinstall the wheel. Job done. So I have some initial thoughts. It's definitely noisier than before the upgrade. And the faster engagement is noticeable when lifting the front wheel when attempting wheelies or getting over obstacles. It's a nice simple upgrade though unnecessarily pricey, especially given the initial cost of the bike. Thanks for checking out the video and please give us a thumbs up if you found it useful.
Thank you for watching Dizzy Does Downhill. Make sure to subscribe, put some comments down below, and like it.